it looks like I'm going to mod the hell out of this one. Hey guys, ever since Android 10, my insanely useful navbar actions became very quickly obsolete. And I'm still really angry about that because that was a brilliant way of controlling devices around you and introducing new functions that are available at your fingertip. But only recently I came up with something equally awesome. Smart Dog. Previously I've reviewed this Xiaomi Dog which has a battery and everything and it's pretty awesome. You can watch the review here. But then I took it to the next level and I've added USB Type-C to transform this into a truly wireless dock. Now I'm going to convert this into a smart dock and I'll explain what a smart dock does. Every now and then I find something curious on the internet that's worth reading or interacting with. And as it happens, if you find it on the mobile phone, sometimes this is just easier to switch to PC. Would it be easier to seamlessly transfer that content from your phone to a PC? Of course it would. So I thought I'm going to do just that. And don't worry, you don't have to have this Porsche dock to make it happen. This project with Tasker will work with pretty much any dock or stand you might have around you. So how do you get the content from your mobile phone onto a computer? Well, it's simple with Tasker. Now this profile supports a couple of things. You can either send application and open it as a web page on your web browser. You can use any URL that you're currently browsing uh, using Google Chrome or any other compatible browsers. And you can even transfer videos, although you're not casting the video, so you won't be able to resume the video where you stop watching it on your mobile phone. For that, you probably have to cast the video instead. It's still possible, but it'll take a little bit more work. And here, I'll be absolutely honest with you guys, I already had it done before, it just didn't occur to me to connect all of those projects together in such way. Now previously, I've made an active PC profile, something that lets you track the usage of your PC if you have multiple PCs, and let the mobile know which uh, computer you currently are working on. So that way any notifications etc is going to be delivered to that computer only. Now this in connection with Smart Dock Profile enables you to cast the content from your mobile phone to your computer so you could carry on. To make it happen I'm going to use a couple of things. First we need a way to communicate with the computer. For this you have two options. You can either use Join App or Auto Remote plus Event ghost combo and I would strongly recommend you to go with auto remote plus event ghost combo if you want to have active PC a version of it uh, working otherwise you can pick uh, join and that's going to be slightly simple for you however you won't have a support for multiple computers another piece of that puzzle is auto input which will help us to transfer information about the URL or current video into the computer I've mentioned before that there is a degree customization going beyond of which apps you can actually pick to cast to the screen. And I mean the dock, you don't need the same dock or wireless dock for that matter. It's down to you which conditions you want to use and how you want to trigger it. You can even do it with a button, although it's probably less convenient. Let's start with a trigger. You'll notice I have several different triggers or conditions that have to be met in order for me to make this happen. Now the crucial one is obviously any sensor, that's one of the latest actions in a tasker, which lets you actually query the raw data from a sensor. And the data you want to query is one of these sensors. They're gonna have a different names for on your device, so you'll just have to uh, scroll through and figure out which is the best for you. Usually it's either gyroscope or position data that will give you uh, correct information and you'll be able to set your triggers. Sensor information will be available and uh, you'll have to position your phone onto the dock or something with a small offset to accommodate for a difference. Once you're happy with the result press OK and lift your phone just a tiny bit uh, so it would record a second value. Then you can also set a margin of error and I would recommend you one as an option. These values can be populated and you got yourself a nice state condition. 
because I know my dog delivers the wireless power, I have enabled wireless power and display state on, so this won't trigger when my phone is uh, charging next to my bed. Before we jump to the main action, let's talk about setting active PC. I've covered that in details, but in an essence, you are sending out a remote message uh, with information about which uh, PC was uh, touched recently or became an idle, and you set that as a variable. The last thing that you have to do is to create profile for each app that you want to include in this project. Now in here you'll notice that I have a Chrome, I have a Facebook, Facebook Messenger and YouTube. Chrome is going to be used to intercept URLs of whatever website you're browsing. Other apps like Facebook or Facebook Messenger, they're just going to set a different variable. So let's take a look how I did it. When there is an app that is supported by this pro profile, it simply sets app current to the name of this app. That is true for every single setup in here, including YouTube. Now on exit, I simply reset that to none. The main task takes this in consideration and applies different actions based on the app current information. So let's start with application, so like Facebook or Facebook Messenger. In this case, it's a very simple a message sent to the event ghost. In this case, I'm hard coding URL. You can see that in a message URL equals uh, Facebook and a similar message in uh, Messenger where URL equals Facebook slash messages. And that hard coded information is then translated in a Python script and displayed on a screen as a new window. Slightly different approach is needed if you want to get the URL that you're currently browsing in Scrum. I need to use auto input for this, which basically on any given website, it clicks on the address bar to get this menu. And then the second action uh, allows uh, the URL to be pasted as a clipboard. That clipboard is either send via join uh, send push as the URL or used with auto remote and even ghost and send URL uh, information is stored in a clip. Now, if you don't intend to use uh, active PC setup and you only have one PC, you can take advantage of join, send, push, and that will let you open the web browser windows uh, without using event ghost. It's a similar story for YouTube. Just note that the actions has to be done in a different positions. Whenever there is a video playing, you'll have to click on share first and then copy link second, and those actions are reflected in a profile. Once you've got that information, it's the same story. Use join, send, push with the clip information as your URL or auto remote with a message URL equals clip. A last action is to return to the home position because once the screen is casted, you probably don't want that to be available on your mobile phone anymore. I will assume that uh, auto remote plugin had been already added to even Ghost and we can start. Active PC is basically in the short because I already have a full tutorial linked in the article. It takes system and idle information or boot information and then sends the information which computer has been used recently to the mobile device. That way mobile device know where to talk back. To open the URL, I'm using this very simple uh, script, which is a Python script, and you need to make sure that the Chrome path is correct. If you have a different web browser, feel free to fill in that path in here. And then it uses uh, event ghost event payload ARCOM, and this is where the URL is gonna be stored. So when I place my mobile on the stand, it will basically pass that information from Tasker, and it will open a new window pointing to a website, in this case, my website, as you can see. Just keep in mind that you really want to trigger that from a dock that is unique and you will be able to trace the position and maybe link that to a charging to make it easier to discover. As usual, with my task projects, in the description of this video, you're going to find a link where you can read that through at your own pace. You'll also find all the files and the task shared link to import the profile so you don't have to write it from scratch. So now guys, you know the drill, there is no schedule, so if you want to know what's going to happen next and when it's going to happen next, well, I'm not going to teach you how it works, but what I'm going to say, follow me on any given social media 
to get some notifications about what I'm working on and obviously notifications whenever there is a new article or video. As for now, thanks so much for watching and well, happy dusking. Bye.